I will tell you today why ADSC we decided to allocate 30 million euro to mobilize transformational research in cooling with our Pathfinder Challenge, the World Program 23, and what we aim to get with it. But before this, something on me. I'm Marco Pantaleo, Program Manager at the, Clean en in, um, at the European Commission in uh, Clean Energy Technologies. I'm an electric engineer with an academic experience as Associate Professor in Applied Thermodynamics, and I've been working the last 20 years around electro or mechanical process systems and biosystem engineering, trying to capture uh, cost versus efficiency trade-offs. Before this, I worked for um, Energy Corporate and with a transmission system operator. Then I founded an energy service startup, being later consultant on energy investments. Two years ago, I decided to move for a while to the other side of the desk, and I joined the AC Program Management Unit. Here, my role is twofold: policy and implementation. From the policy side, I carry out scientific intelligence to support our vision on research and innovation needs in the EU, to propose candidate challenges for our top-down call, chair the evaluation panel, and finally, compose a portfolio of projects that can work together. From the implementation side, my role is to manage that portfolio, to achieve results that are aligned with policy targets, to reconcile social and entrepreneurial needs, and to contribute to transform research into business. So my purpose now is to identify and nurture the most promising research and innovation across our beneficiaries and at different technological maturity. But why cooling is so important and timely? It is essential across many areas of society for human well-being, economic growth, sustainable urbanization, food management, healthcare. In the mid environment, where urbanization, climate change, population growth, modern building design are dramatically increasing the cooling demand. In data center, electronics and batteries, due to the digital transition needs, imagine that half of the energy consumed by data center is for cooling. There is also reason, this is also the reason why the Quantum Energy Initiative decided to reduce the energy footprint, putting at the research priority not only fast computing, but also efficient and responsible cooling solutions. Food production and processing, from cultivation in semi-desertic areas, ambient moisture capture for irrigation, vertical farming, refrigerated transport, food storage. Imagine that lack of adequate food cooling causes 0.2 billion tons of food lost and 3.3 billion tons of CO2 emission, which is the third largest after China and US. Medical application included vaccine and pandemic risk. There are 2 million preventable deaths due to lack of refrigerated vaccine and indoor air quality control is a priority. There are also implications the, uh, for the flexibility of the energy system by cold energy storage or the need to transport light molecules as energy carry, such as liquid hydrogen and liquefied natural gas. Also, hard to abate industries are to rely on cooling, including cryogenic carbon cooling and analytic equipment or large uh, infrastructure for fundamental research need cooling. So a total of 10% of the global CO2 emissions come from cooling and refrigeration, which is more than three times more than aviation and shipping. And this is fast increasing, so that imagine by the end of the century, we are expected to absorb half of the global electricity demand with cooling. On the other side, several cooling technologies rely on critical and harmful materials, such as some refrigerants. So the EU aims to reinforce its strategic technological autonomy in areas where there is risk to lose leadership, such as cooling one, where we may rely on not European corporate, despite of the excellent science we produce and the flourishing ecosystem of small and medium enterprises. Regarding market potential, the IEA estimates about 650 billion euro by 2030 only in Europe for clean technologies, of which a consistent part are solution for heating and cooling. But what are the possible solutions? Well, the cooling sector is dominated by vapor compression, heat pumps and chillers, relatively efficient, but not suitable for some application. For instance, for instance, electronics, data center, electric vehicles, where weight, space, or noise matters, or not efficient for low temperature ranges or high temperature gradients, or not adapted to the flexibility needs for the energy systems. Several alternatives have been proposed and explored at different TRL levels. Recent advancements in material science, chemistry, and computational science could offer to old and already no solution new perspectives. This is the case of functionalized materials, where external forces such as magnetic and electric fields, pressure, strength, or acoustic waves, or reversible redox reactions can tune phase change or induce heat transfer. 
adoption are based on sorption processes or on intrusion, extrusion, porous, in porous media. Here we can, for instance, recover waste heat or ambient heat or vibration. We can even use photon for cooling with thermophotonics approach, traditionally from laser, but now also from solar radiation or even indoor light. And we can integrate processes such as indoor thermohygrometing comfort and direct air capture for CO2 or bioremediation. Natural-based or natural-inspired solution can be also explored, such as natural evapotranspiration processes of plants and trees or other discoveries coming from synthetic biology. Promising solutions include passive cooling, the use of natural energy, for instance, winter cold for summer use, or solar cooling. Also, the dimension of diagnostic and control matters. For instance, soft fault detection is crucial to increase efficiency. Often, this technology operates in a suboptimal way due to lack of real time control, while digital twins and IoT solutions, enabled by novel sensors, can improve the way we use existing technology. It's better to save energy in what we already have instead of going to something completely new sometimes. Multidisciplinarity and knowledge contamination is also a key for transformational research, and it is in the DNA of Pathfinder uh, instrument. This is true also for cooling. Here the list can be long. For instance, new advances in additive manufacturing and material science can bring to the development of more efficient design of heat exchangers using composite materials with unique thermal properties and mechanical resistance, suitable for electric vehicles, electronics, and so on. We at EIC have the ambition to offer to visionary researchers and innovators the opportunity to find new pathways from here, Pathfinder, and verify the technical feasibility of their ideas to transform discovery into business opportunities. If you decide to apply, you have the choice to address active or passive cooling, space or process cooling, single component or wall devices, and broad range of temperature, whatever is your choice, you should have the ambition to transform the way we satisfy our cooling needs or drastically improve the efficiency and sustainability of current solutions, achieve competitive efficiency in comparison to state-of-the-art, using non-critical materials and circularity approaches, paying attention to the system integration, such as recovery waste heat. The ambition is also to establish a community of scientists and entrepreneurs to stimulate the debate on concepts such as cooling quality or addressing major regulatory barriers. Last but not least, we aim to build a technological leadership for international outreach in extra-European countries where clean and affordable coal is a key driver for socio-economic development. We dream one day to have efficient and smart devices that can cool or heat our homes when and where we need. Maybe operated by indoor light or ambient heat, store cold in winter and use it in summer, or drive car fueled by cryogenic air with no emissions or live in buildings made by concrete that harvest sky temperature for radiative cooling. Please have a look at the next Pathfinder Challenge call on clean cooling at the AC, in the AC World Program. I look forward to working with you to develop together cheaper, smarter and more efficient cooling solutions.